Hey everyone, this is Chris, and welcome back to The Ridge. Today, well today is day 99 of our tobacco plants being in the ground. So we're going to show you how we grew them, how we harvested the leaves, and how we hung them up to dry. Join, Join us! Sweet Maple Ridge Farm. So to start off, this is the tobacco that we started from seed. It's super easy to start it from seed, except that the seeds are super small. So as long as you can get them to germinate, you're going to do just fine. And we'll just go through a couple things here. So this is the tobacco that we grew, and you could see it grew up really fast, really big. So let's fast forward to day 99, and we're going to cut into a video of our harvest. All right, so this is what we have so far. I'm just picking the stuff that looks like crocodile. It's supposed to be unseasonably hot the next couple days. And so I figured, why don't we use that heat to our advantage and all that. So I got some really nice, the camera's really making this look green, but this really is gold, nice golden color. So a couple things are eating on it, but uh, that's another reason why I sort of want to get it picked. So we're going to keep on getting it. All right, so another reason I want to just go ahead and pick this is because it's it's looking a little bit rough, y'all. Um, this is Canadian Bold, this, and then, like, the next, like, five plants. So, it's, this stuff is still, it's still flowering. Um, it's definitely taking longer to, we're going to pick those, actually. I'm just cutting these. It's taken a lot longer for the Canadian bold to uh, start to yellow. Um, the stuff that was in the garden that we just picked, all that right there, is Virginia gold. And that stuff obviously is looking good. So any of this crocodile stuff, we're just going to go ahead and pick it. We're going to wash it. All right, so this is the Virginia bold that I planted. Now you can see this stuff has uh, really gotten big. I'll show you this leaf. You know, here's my shoe. So it uh, gives you an idea of just how big um, these leaves can get. But you can see they're starting to get that rust on there. Um, I don't, I'm not really sure if they're 100% ready yet. They're starting to turn yellow. They have that crocodile look to them. But I don't want them to get any more disease and than what they already have so i'm probably going to pick the ones with the uh, rust on them okay so this is what we have left i'm gonna let this uh get a little better anybody knows down why in the comments this is taking so long um you know to ripe let ripen let me know maybe it's not right maybe i'm totally wrong i might be this is the first time I've ever grown it, but anyway, if there's anything that you can see that uh, I'm doing that's not right, or maybe I should leave it, or maybe I should have picked it already, maybe I should pick this one, I don't know. Leave a comment about uh, what we're doing right or what we're doing wrong. Um, so the, the, the Canadian Bold, those flowers are nowhere near maturity. Uh, there's still plenty of buds that haven't opened yet. This Virginia Gold, these are all full of seeds. You can just hear them rattling in there. I'll try to pick that. All right, so there you go. See, each and every one of those little brown things is a seed. So look how many, each brown thing, pod, I guess, holds, I don't know, like thousands of seeds probably so i'm gonna cut this thing off this flower thing and put it in a paper bag and then we're gonna grow more next year um but it's pretty wild i mean look at them all over my uh my thumb but uh all right so now what i'm gonna do is now that we have all this i'm gonna take this back to the house i'm gonna spray it off and then i have a bunch of metal wire and we're gonna hang it stick around it's interesting to see 
that this Virginia Gold is clearly a lot smaller than uh, what was planted over by the garden actually in the ground because, you know, there's only a limited amount of nutrients that this plant can get from this pot. And even though we did fertilize it and we watered it when we could, those are on automatic waters and got regular fertilizer. So you can see how sm much smaller this plant is and also how much more ripe the leaves are. So maybe that's a testament that you don't want to give them too much water or too much fertilizer because they'll never, you know, like die off. So um, you can see that these are both Virginia Golds and these are much, much more golden color uh, than some of the other ones. But I'm gonna snatch these two. We're going to wash them off and hang them. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We really appreciate it. All right, so I have it all laid out here. Some definitely more gold than others, but that's all right, because we're just learning. Some of this looks, I think, really good. But we're just gonna wash it off real quick. We're in a drought right now, as you can see the grass. So we're gonna not use too much water for this. All right, everyone, so we're here at the hanging location. You can see we've, we do already have some stuff. I'm hanging here. This is just stuff that I've sort of had no choice but to uh, pick. But it smells incredible. I mean, it smells so, so good. This sweet maple ridge says it just smells like leaves, but I think different. But anyway, we're going to fashion something up here because we got a lot to hang. And uh, so I have some wire like this. And so that's what we're going to do. All right, so we just unloaded this and we hung this up using this wire. It's just like a thin gauge wire, sort of. I think it might be the same wire that we used to, uh, maybe an 11, 11 and a half, anyway. So this might be a little bit too close, but we hung all this up after we washed it. And it looks really good in here. It really smells good. Here's some tobacco that we already have going. And it's sort of nice and soft and pliable. Has such a great smell to it. And the next couple days are supposed to be really, really warm for around here. Uh, high of 85 tomorrow and the next day. And, uh, and plus it's really, really humid. So all this stuff is just it's really curing well. So then we have this over here. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway. All right. Day two of the tobacco. Hung this. We hung this yesterday, right? No, we hung this Monday. We hung this Monday. Today's Wednesday. So it's starting to look good. I don't think that this is probably going to be enough distance between, but I don't know. Maybe it will be. It's definitely going to shrink. You can see I had all this hanging, and this really shrunk. It's good. It's dry, but it's the perfect weather to, uh, to dry this because this stuff is just like leather. It's dry, but it's so humid out. I mean, it is like 110% humidity out here. But, uh, so, okay, so we got that. This stuff is all looking really, really good. And then we got this. Over here. So, all this is just going to be really, really good. So, this is uh, really day three. And that's what we got. So that's it. That's the video. We'll keep you updated as uh, we go. But that's it. That's the video. If you like this kind of content, please make sure to like the video. Definitely hit that subscribe button. 
And we'll see you next time out on the ridge.